After almost a year of wait, Build a Boat for Treasure has finally updated, and with a pretty large changelog. Now, there isn't anything insane or game breaking coming to the game, but a few nice quality of life changes in new stages and blocks. Now, I know this might not be the update that you were wanting, but keep in mind, Chilter has a life too, and some of the builders just haven't been around much recently. But nevertheless, they updated the forest stage, which as you can see here, it looks a lot more amazing. I won't harp on that because it's not that much. I'll leave the full changelog up right here after this stage, um, because this is another new stage. This is the Egyptian stage. There's three stages, I, I say two new stages actually, and that is the Cherry Blossom stage and the Egyptian stage. And that stage is actually kind of a rebrand of an old stage. I paint stage, that's a stage I made. Um, because the tornadoes are actually from a very, very old stage uh, that never made its way back into the game until recently now. Um, now the Cherry Blossom tree is on screen right now. I'm just going to show you a picture from the wiki because that's the easiest thing I could do. And the other thing I wanted to share with you is the whole changelog. This is the whole changelog if you're curious. You could pause the video to read through it or um, just continue watching for some of the other things. Uh, now I mentioned that there also is some other new things which might be interesting to you because it's been a while since we have had something new. Over a year. Um, and those new things are actually some new suspension types. Kind of. So there's a new metal rod type of block, it's kind of like the spring, and there is also a rope. Now I said that in reverse order, I know, I'm sorry if that's confusing, but the metal rod is silvery and the string is kind of brown. Um, and you obviously know the suspension, but I'll show it along with everything else just to give a good comparison because we've had the suspension for quite a while. There's also new modes for suspension if you want to edit it. Um, but that's not really that interesting because you guys don't care about that. You care about the new blocks. Now, I'm very glad you asked about the new blocks. Here's a spring for comparison. Now, these won't do much, but I'll show a little bit more after. But basically what the spring does is what you know it does. It kind of just springy. The metal rod is currently locked up there because I made sure it couldn't move. But when I drop it down, you'll see below the earth it actually does swing, but it's rigid. It will not compress. Um, and that will be different from the rope, which actually will compress and it will swing around. I thought of more like a uh, swing, you know, you sit on. Um, and if it drops below the earth, you can see it swings much faster because it's a smaller one, but it's more free swing. Well, the metal rod will be at a fixed place. This rope will not be at a fixed place. Um, it'll go anywhere. You can move it closer, further, anywhere. But the rod, you cannot do that because it is a fixed distance. While the suspension wants to stay at a fixed distance, but will not if you push it. Another thing to be noticed, which I just shown on screen, was that you can now purchase dynamite, the flintlock, and the mounted swords. Now, this was a change added for quality of life because Roblox Battles is no longer active and a whole list of other things. But overall, I think this is a really nice change. You can have them now, even if you didn't get them earlier or it was just too tedious for you. They're only 50 gold, so I would say that's pretty cheap. But overall, that's all the important changes to Build a Boat for Treasure recently, and I hope to see more updates coming soon. Again, I said it was over a year, and we finally got a really nice update. Thank you, Chill Thrill, for this amazing update, and thank you to you viewers for staying so patient for so long. I hope you have an amazing day, and I hope 2024 is an amazing year. See ya!